Hello guys and gals, and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at ooh, one of the more interesting normal difficulty halberds, and, uh, and this is called the Woe Stave. Um, the Woe Stave is, for lack of better terms, just a crowd control monster. Um, if you wanted to uh, to have your mercenary, or if you wanted to have yourself a massive amount of crowd control, which was just ridiculously through the roof in terms of what you're doing to a monster every time you poke them, um, <laughs> which sounds dirty, but uh, but trust me when I say when you look at this item, you're going to be like, whoa, that is a lot of effects. So first off, let's start off with the non-ethereal version, uh, which is... Uh, 16 to 63 damage with a dexterity requirement of 47, strength requirement of 75, and a level requirement of 28. Relatively low. Uh, it is also in a halberd base, which is a max range polearm, so it's going to hit really, really far away. Um, right off the bat there, you see it has a 40% enhanced damage, which only varies 20%, 20 to 40%, so a very low variable there. And that is actually the only thing on this weapon that does vary. So if you happen to find yourself a 40% ED woe save, you've got yourself a perfect woe save. Uh, we have 50% chance of open wounds, which is freaking awesome. We've got prevent monster heal, which is awesome. Unfortunately, that does not work on mercenaries, but it's still very nice to have. And uh, since it's paired with open wounds, it really doesn't matter because you're getting both effects at the same time. Uh, we've got hit blinds target three, which means that the targets that you hit are going to be relatively blind. Uh, and it, since it has a rather large range, you might actually be able to hit them and not be hit back. Uh, we have a freezes target effect on here as well, which is going to completely freeze the targets in a block of ice. Slows targets by 50%, so even for those monsters that can't be frozen, you'll be slowing them down by 50%, which is ridiculous. Um, and slows target actually does stack up to the cap of 80%. Uh, it doesn't stack linearly, so it's not like if I have a 30% slows target and a 50% slows target together, it's going to stack to 80 it actually removes the 50% and then the 30% works on what's left and, uh, and it, it stacks all the way up to a cap of 80. We also have negative 50 monster defense per hit, which at level 28 is pretty massive, and a negative 3 to light radius, which is uh, a little bit. Uh, the ethereal version is 25 to 93 damage and of course has a lower requirement of 37 dex and 65 strength. And all in all, this weapon actually makes a pretty amazing mercenary weapon because your mercenary is literally going to be making everything bleed to death, blinding them, freezing them, slowing them down by 50%, and reducing their defense by 50 per hit, which means he's going to be hitting a lot. In fact, if we take the mercenary out into uh, into the cold plains and uh, we let him beat on some stuff, you'll see that, uh, that he really does get all the effects and the monsters will actually be blinded, frozen, they will shatter, of course, so this is a downside for necromancers. Um, if you need corpses, you're obviously not going to want the the, uh, the effect. But generally, everything that this polearm attacks is going to be relatively un, uh, undefensible. They are not going to be able to fight back. Um, now, granted, it does only work on one target at a time, and um, and you will have to actually utilize the, um, you know, your effects to uh, keep your mercenary alive in those those situations where he's fighting multiple multiple monsters at one time but take a look at the uh, at the very pretty blue color of it as well and um, when I was a paladin and playing in Lord of the Rings online I used to love halberds and I would have absolutely loved to help have a halberd with effects like this now the interesting thing about the Huso all the uh, the woe stave halberd sorry I was just doing a video on the other one um, is that you can upgrade it. So uh, so let's say you happen to find the ethereal version and you're getting to a point where your character's just not really doing so well anymore. Your mercenary just doesn't have enough damage and, um, and you'd like to get more damage on this particular weapon. Well, you can. So this weapon can be upgraded a total of two times. Um, number one, it can be upgraded from a halberd to a Bectic Corbin. And number two, it can be upgraded from a back to Corbin to a crate pole axe. And both of these upgrades are going to have their own specific uses. To upgrade this from a halberd 
to a back to Corbin, you're going to need a Rao rune, a soul rune, and a perfect emerald. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade both of these to their superior versions, the exceptional versions. So first off, we're going to do the Woe Stave Halberd, a non-ethereal version, which is 16 to 63 damage, 47 dex, 75 strength, and 20, level 28 requirement. And this converts it to 18 to 119 damage, uh, 91 dexterity requirement, 133 strength, and only a level requirement of 33, which is actually not bad. Um, if you did have a mercenary who had high enough strength to use this, uh, that would be a very no-brain upgrade. Uh, Rao and Soul Runes are not hard to come by, and neither are perfect emeralds. And so one upgrade to a Beck to Corbin is certainly viable. And if we had the ethereal version, we would get even more damage. So let's take a look at that. So the ethereal version is 25 to 93 damage with a dexterity of 37 and a strength of 65 with the same level 28 requirement. And when upgraded, we are now at 26 to 177 uh, with a 81 dex, 123 strength, and 30 level 33 requirement. So not a bad upgrade from tier 1 to tier 2. Um, I would definitely say that if you, you were using a woe stave on your mercenary and you happened to um, want to upgrade it, you know, you haven't found something better yet, you're not using an insight polearm or something like that, this would definitely make a very nice one-tier upgrade. But what about when we upgrade it a second time? So let's see what happens when we upgrade it from the second tier to the last tier, which is going to be from the Back to Corbin to the Great Pole Axe. Um, this one in particular is 18 to 119 damage with a dexterity of 91, a strength of 133, and level requirement of 33. So we're going to go ahead and throw in our runes. And um, we do need a Pole Rune, a Perfect Emerald, and a Lum Rune. So now we have a Woe Stave Great Pole Axe, and uh, the damage is rather underwhelming at 64 to 177. That's actually very bad. Uh, 99 strength requirement, or no, sorry, 99 dexterity requirement, 179 strength requirement, so very, very high on the requirements there. I mean, the reason why this didn't really upgrade very well from Nightmare to Hell is just simply because it doesn't have a lot of ED on it. So when you're looking at an item uh, to upgrade, a lot of the times what you'll notice is that some of the lower level weapons, especially, tend to have very low enhanced damage. And because of that very low enhanced damage, they tend to upgrade very poorly because when they get into the higher tiers, it doesn't scale very well. But let's go ahead and take a look at the ethereal item uh, nonetheless. So we're going to grab our Lum, our Pull, and our Perfect Emerald. So we've got 26 to 177, uh, 81 a dexterity, and 123 strength. And so now we're 89 dexterity, 169 strength, 75 level, and 96 to 266. Not exactly the most amazing damage there. I'll put that to good um, use. I feel like now it is definitely more usable for a hell mercenary if, if your goal was just simply to get crowd control. But because there's no other effects on it at all, it um, it's just not going to be the greatest. The other downside of the Great Poleaxe for the uh, mercenaries is specifically that mercenaries don't really get the range bonus. So as a player, you would get the really nice for, you know, like max range on the pole arm. But, um, but as a mercenary, they're stuck at two, no matter what. So unfortunately, the, the amazing range of the Great Poleaxe is lost on the mercenary completely, and they're stuck with a rather crappy range. Now granted, it still has the 50% chance of open wounds. It still has the, the blinds target, the freezes target, the slows target by, the negative monster defense. And if you were to use this on a higher level mercenary, I mean, it would definitely be nice to have it upgraded. Um, I feel like this particular polearm sort of uh, wanes off after around Nightmare difficulty. But uh, if you were to use this on a mercenary in normal difficulty and Nightmare difficulty, I feel like you would have a really easy time. Uh, because it's going to pretty much make any mercenary you fight rather useless. Um, even bosses are affected by the slows target by 50%. And the slows target by 50% can be stacked with Clay Golem. It can be stacked with the Crepify. Uh, the open wounds is going to be working on your mercenary, and um, if you found an ethereal version of this, you might even want to upgrade it one time, socket it, 
and uh, and put something nice in there and use it on your nightmare level characters. Um, I probably wouldn't upgrade this to the third tier um, due to the rather poor enhanced damage. It just doesn't really lend itself well to an upgrade. Um, the one thing that it is missing is lifesteal. So if you did want to socket this, you probably are going to want to put an Amrune in there. Um, or if you already have a lifesteal item on your character, like maybe an Undead Crown, um, you maybe you're going to put a, um, a Shale Rune in here specifically to get that extra uh, attack speed, which it is missing. All in all, I think the Woe Stave is an amazing little item. Um, it definitely has the the most crowd control effects, uh, the ailments, as it were, that uh, that I've seen out of any particular item. Um, the low damage does make it an unattractive option for long-term use. However, it does have some very interesting effectiveness, I believe, in normal and nightmare difficulty. Uh, once you get to hell difficulty, you're probably going to want to replace this. Although, if you can get away with not having your mercenary deal damage, all the crowd control effects on this are actually pretty ridiculous. Um, maybe you could even one-up the freeze's target by throwing in a cham rune if you got one laying around. Or maybe even throw in an um rune for extra open wounds. I don't, I don't know. Um, I feel like building on this item's ailments is really the only way to go with this particular weapon um, you know add more ailments just keep adding more ailments and make it as as ailing as possible maybe pair it with a duress for extra open wounds or pair it with uh, I, don't, I don't even know there's got to be some other helmets uh, or, or armors that will have some decent effects like this uh, the other thing that comes to mind to me is that this item would make an absolutely excellent iron golem um, think about it. Your Iron Golem would get 50% open wounds. He would get Prevent Monster Heal. He would get Hit Blind's target. He would get Freeze's target. He would get Slow's target by. He would get negative monster defense. It would be an absolutely amazing Iron Golem. Um, I would honestly say that maybe one of the best uses for this, besides a low-level mercenary, is to make Iron Golems out of it. Um, and maybe upgrading it specifically so that your Iron Golem gets more damage. Um... You could also throw a, uh, a rune in it to give your Iron Golem some extra effects, like maybe some lifesteal uh, to keep him alive. But, uh, you know, in general, I feel like this may have actually been made specifically for Iron Golems. Uh, because it just, it seems like it would impart some of the most amazing benefits to an Iron Golem while at the same time not really costing you that much. Uh, a Woe Stave is a normal difficulty item, and you, chances are you're going to find it just about anywhere um, as you level up through the game. You're going to find it in normal difficulty, nightmare, and hell difficulty. So, uh, so maybe if you are an Iron Golem Necromancer user, hang on to a couple Woe Staves to convert into uh, some cheap but effective Iron Golems. Um... I do think that this particular item lacks attack speed, so it might not be the greatest use for a shapeshifter druid. Um, it definitely would be nice to play around with on a polearm barbarian. <coughs> and um, maybe even a charge paladin could get a little bit of use out of this early game. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.